What's up guys, my name is Bryce and welcome to Once Upon a Coma. This is a quick look at an absolutely beautiful upcoming game from the same guy who made Pinstripe. The basic idea behind this game is that you have woken up after being in a coma for a very long time and the world you wake up in is very different than the one you left. All the adults are gone mysteriously and you have no idea what happened and things are just a little bit strange in general. So let's just hop right in and check it out together. Welcome to the world of Once Upon a Coma. As you guys can see, <laughs> I am currently very on fire. Not exactly sure why I decided to start my adventure in a fireplace, but yes, here we are in Once Upon a Coma. As you can see, the art style is absolutely beautiful in this game, so I'm really excited to start our little adventure together. Oh, and before I forget, I've actually got my own little version of the main character in this game, so I'm in the game. It's so freaking cute, and just look at him. He looks absolutely adorable. <laughs> All right, so it looks like we are starting off our adventure in this creepy hotel with a bunch of like doors. Okay, and I guess I can ring some doorbells. That's strange. This world is certainly a bit ominous. It's it's very cute, but also very creepy at the same. Oh, time. Not really sure what's going on there, but I guess we found a little elevator and a phone. That's good, I guess. Hello? Anyone home? Hello there? It's time to wake up, sleepyheads. Um, phone? Phone, you can't tell me what to do. You're not my dad. Silly phones thinking they're my dad. What? What is even going on? And why am I ringing a bunch of doorbells? That seems very rude. I don't know why I would do that. I feel like ding dong ditching is probably frowned upon in, you know, spooky hotels. I feel like I'm in like the cutest version of like American Horror Story meets like the sweet life of Zack and Cody and I'm just very confused right now. Oh. What? Why, why is this door angry at me? Okay, I guess it doesn't like when I ring these doorbells. Okay, well, B and A do not like when I ring the doorbells. That's strange, but okay, I guess they don't like it when I ding dong ditch. Maybe I should be, maybe I should be a little more polite. Maybe not try to, <laughs> maybe not try to prank people like that. All right, so what's this thing? Perfect Pete bashed his skull and bled upon his baby doll. What the crap is that? That is not a normal thing to embroider. Grandma! Grandma, what are you doing? Oh gosh, grandma's going crazy. She used to like embroider me cute things like my love for you is eternal, but now she's talking about Pete bashing his skull and bleeding to death. It's just <laughs> very freaking strange, but I'm guessing this is probably uh, the way to get through this puzzle. So as you can see, we got D-E-B-A-B -B, all in a different color, and I'm guessing I probably need to ring the doorbells in that order. So I guess we just got to go back upstairs and do that. All right, so let's just get on the elevator. Um, I don't think any of the buttons make the elevator go again. So I guess I just got to continue. Um, hopefully I didn't horribly screw up. But I, I guess we'll see. All right, so what's this? Whoa! How am I here? What? Wait, what, what just happened? How did, I, I, I don't, what the crap is that guy? <laughs> Hello there, buddy. Uh, really, really nice teeth you got. Um, I see you spend a lot of time flossing and that's, that's good. D dentists say that's important. Um, you really just have a very beautiful smile. It's. You really know how to bright up, brighten up a room with that. That's just 10 out of 10 smile right there. Really like it, buddy. Um, I'm pretty sure he wasn't here originally, but uh, it was really good to meet you. And I'm just going to go play some ding dong ditch now. Don't mind me. Oh, good. Good. You brought some friends. That's that's good. I mean, I, I see that you've all been spending a lot of time brushing and flossing. That's very good. Oral hygiene. Very important. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and you got more friends. That's just good, I guess. I'm gonna go. Uh, believe. Why is that on the? I believe that this is very creepy. I'm, I'm just gonna move on. All right. Well, I'm glad those guys are all. Why are there so many of you? <laughs> I don't understand. Believe the. What? What am I gonna believe? Do I believe in life after love? Do you believe in life after love? Uh, yes, I do. Hello there. Uh, let me do some debobs real quick. Boom. Amazing. Oh, 
Hello there. Uh, how are you? Okay, bye. <laughs> He's like, you're not the pizza man. I'm sorry. I'm just a kid trying to ding dong ditch. I'm just really bored. Y you know how it is. I I'm just gonna go now. Oh. <laughs> what the crap is this thing? <laughs> Why is it so bouncy? <laughs> yeah! Um, not exactly sure why this bouncy little fart cloud exists, but I'm certainly having fun with it. Alright, well I guess we did something there, and apparently we're supposed to believe something. I'm not really sure what we're supposed to believe in, but uh, hopefully we'll figure out what the last thing is. Maybe it's on this, did this update. Uh, nope, this is still the nice little morbid embroidery. Thanks, Grandma. That was a really good birthday present. Uh, I know, I know I asked for, you know, like a $20 gift card to, you know, somewhere, but this, this is cool too. That's... <laughs> Alright, well, I guess we gotta go back through. Hopefully it'll tell us what we're supposed to believe in. I believe in miracles! I believe this is incredibly creepy. What the heck is happening? Why is there a magical pendulum now and why does it look like there's a bunch of tonsils in the back? This is a very confusing time for... How did I get here? Why am I standing on top of a piano? Pendulum! I, what have I told you about kidnapping people? You're not supposed to do it! Pendulums these days always kidnapping people. <laughs> Alright, well I guess I'm... Here now, I'm not exactly sure where here is, but this is certainly very strange. Guess we might as well explore and oh! Wait, can I play the piano? Oh my gosh, I totally can! Does this actually work though? Can I, can I play like a chord or something? Oh no way! That is so freaking cool! You can actually play the piano in this game? Oh, now, now I just want to do like songs and stuff, be like... White lips Pale face, breathing in the snowflakes, burnt lungs, sour taste. <laughs> That's so cool! What else can I do? Can I be like, um, let's do this one. All the small things, truth cares, and truth breaks. Oh wait, no, I apologize, I did it totally wrong. Let, let me fix it, I can do this better. All the... Things. <laughs> truth cares and truth breaks. <laughs> I mean, if you don't sound like your nose is plugged when you sing that song, are you even doing it right? I mean, come on, guys. All right, well, I guess we're off to a pretty good start so far. I, I'm glad to know that I can play a bunch of stupid songs on here, but I guess I should probably try to figure out why I am here. Oh, and we got a nice little house area. That's neat. With a mirror. It, it's a mirror. <laughs> I see you got an astute sense of observation there. Really proud of you, bud. Uh, looks like you woke up wearing some cool headphones and a blue shirt. I mean, I certainly think it's pretty cool. And a PG logo is on your shirt. Wow, incredible. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> you really do look stunning. Congrats. Well, thank you, Mirror. Mirrors are just always so polite. They really just like to- Oh, I just fell through the floor. <laughs> okay. Mirrors are just so polite, though. They just really love to compliment you. And- now I'm here. This is certainly a lot nicer than the creepy hotel I was in, that's for sure. Oh, looks like the door is locked. Okay. And now we've definitely got some happier music. I'm pretty excited about that. Oh, this is so nice. I like this a lot. All right. It just makes me like happy to go adventuring with a lot of locked doors. Oh, and there's a guy over there with a nice painting of poop. Why did that man paint poop? This is very confusing. Can I can I talk to him? Oh wait, yes I can. Whoop! <laughs> I can't believe it's actually you, Pete. Uh, uh, yo, what's up, man? What's you think about my painting? It's a portrait of you. Are you kidding? <laughs> are you saying I look like crap, or are you saying I'm the shit? I mean, it's one of the two. I I'll let you guys be the judge. <laughs> um, th thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Just look at that beautiful color. One day, I'm gonna be a world-famous animator with 471,000 Twitter followers. You watch. That is oddly specific, but I believe in you, buddy. You, you can make all the poop gifts that everyone could ever hope for, and you're just gonna be so famous. I I'll be so proud of you, buddy. <laughs> but hey, welcome back, Pete. We honestly didn't think you'd make it out of your coma. Well, I, I didn't realize I was in a coma, but glad I made it out. Well, 
Glad you made it back. But I do wonder though, if you still got it in you. <laughs> what, what do I have in me? I, I'm confused. <laughs> Man, you've really forgotten everything, haven't you? We used to call you the slice. Like, the, the pizza? Did, did I just eat like a lot of pizza? Do, <laughs> am I like your home slice or something? No? Okay. <laughs> you had the coolest razor from your dad's barber shop. Okay. And that thing was sharp. Your sister thought you were so cool. I mean, I'm pretty awesome. Uh, what happened to my sister, by the way? She tried to be all macho and go find the grown-ups. Ever since they went missing, she acted like it was a huge deal. I mean, isn't it though? Nah, not in my book. You know what they say. Everything bad, you, you know, how's it going? Exactly, I, I do know that they say that. <laughs> Regardless, you won't be able to find her. What are you talking about, man? Of course I'm gonna find her. Don't kill- <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Don't count your chickens before the egg, Pete. It's dangerous out there. I will try not to egg my chickens before they hatch or something. Okay. You're a very strange man. H have fun with your poop drawing. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Looks like this door is locked. Oh, well, guess it's time to continue my adventure. What's going? Oh, Okam's Barbary. Back. Well, back to you as well. A message is written on the mirror. I wonder what it could be. B-A-C. It's almost like there was a piano with those exact same letters that it might be asking me to play. Pete, don't forget about our favorite place. Lily, this seems important. <laughs> I wonder why. It's really nice of the game to tell me that it's important. Uh, but it looks like, unfortunately, that's all we've got in here. So I guess we should probably head on back to the piano. See if we can't play some beautiful tunes. I mean, I thought my songs were pretty good, but I, I get it if you maybe want me to play something else. I guess we'll head on over there and try to play more songs. I'm excited for this. I really love when games incorporate music into the gameplay because I'm a very musical person who just missed the door. So I, I really like to have music in like all aspects of life. So it's really cool to have it in the gaming world as well. So let's just do a little bit of this. We'll do B. A, C. Oh, there we go. And just like that, we have unlocked this area. And a chest. Ooh. Da 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 da. We got Okam's razor. A straight edge razor with an intricate black wood handle and a sharp heavy blade. It aches for a painfully close shave. Or murder. Probably murder, though. <laughs> All right, so I guess now I've got my slashing sword and I am ready to go adventure and take out all the enemies. I didn't realize I actually had enemies, but I'm excited to slash some things regardless. Maybe I can slash that guy for being such a jerk and drawing me as a piece of poop. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad he likes the poop emoji so much, but you don't have to draw me as it, man. That's just incredibly rude. I, I really wish you wouldn't. Can I get up there, by the way? Oh, I totally can. Come here, buddy. One second. Oh, that's locked. Never mind. I'm coming for you. I am coming for you and your ugly, stupid painting. Get this, get this crap out of my face. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> that wasn't really meant to be a joke, but I'm just gonna run with it. Uh, nope, Gu guess I can't murder this guy either. So, little bit underwhelming. Uh, looks like my razor is not working exactly as intended, but eh, I guess it's okay. Oh. Well, hello there, weird jump ropey man. H how are you? Long time no see, Pete. It's me, John. Well, hi there, John. Why are you an old man jump roping? This is very strange, but okay, buddy. You do you. What do you think about my hair? I've been growing it out. Um, well, it, it, you're sort of just growing out part of it. If you want to grow it out, that's fine. But, you know, you're sort of missing a little bit. <laughs> it looks great or it kind of looks like a girl. Uh, I'm gonna say it looks great. You can wear your hair however you like. I think it's fab. I'm gonna be a girl this school year, I think. Okay, that's... That, you do you, buddy. You do you. Anyway, I bet the gang will be super glad you woke up. It's been weird since you fell asleep. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's so spooky without the grown-ups here. Lily went looking for them, and then Ralphie barricaded the entrance to the Reddington field behind me. So, where's Lily, though? You know, Lily... Your sister? <laughs> yes, I do know who Lily is. Uh, she said something about needing to be done. Well, what needs to be done? It's kind of weird. Ever since the grown-ups disappeared, things have been... Well, odd. 
I'd say that's a bit of an understatement. But whatever. As long as I can eat ice cream and bacon for dinner every night, I couldn't give two farts where the grown-ups are. Well, you're gonna care a lot when all the bacon and ice cream disappears, because the grown-ups were the ones making that stuff, man. <laughs> all right. Well, it looks like this is locked, but uh, we should be able to make it through this area and into the forest. Well, I guess I'd better be off and go start my adventure. I'm ready to slay some things. Oh, hey, Pete. It's me, Bert. You woke up. You're a bird? You, you kind of look like a fairy. What, what are you doing there, buddy? I'm locked in this cage. That's what's up. Y you seem a bit upset about that. Your little sister went to go look for the grown-ups. I told her not to, but she ran into the woods. Uh, I, I did hear that. Yeah, dude. And the grown-ups, they're all gone. All of them. They just started vanishing. Yikes, man. That, that's not good. So listen, Pete. Your sister's been gone for a couple, couple weeks. Oh no. Well, that can't be good and, and it can't be good. I, I agree. <laughs> you might want to prepare for the worst. Nah, man, we're going to go find her. Okay, quick, get me out of this cage and let's head into the woods. Let's do it, bud. Come on, we got to go get him, bird. We can do this. We got to go save our sister. I don't, I don't, it's not really your sister. It's kind of my sister. What is that boy doing up there? <laughs> <laughs> he wants to swing from the chandelier. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Hey Pete, up here. D do you see me? I, I do indeed. It's none of your business to look at me. I am the mighty ninja. G Gam Gamboyosa? O okay, that's cool. Uh, you don't know how amazing my swinging powers are. Okay, uh, how do you swing like that? That's, that's pretty cool. Worm buttholes. Wait, what? Okay, I know this game has had its weird moments, but worm butthole? <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna move on. But that's neither here nor there. All right, I swing, swing, swing all day and hide from the spiders, you know? Sure. Totally glad you understand. Most people don't understand. Probably because you talk about worm buttholes and I get how you could lose a couple people there. <laughs> but hey. Where have you been all summer, Pete? Um, well, you know, that, that coma that the whole town knew about? <laughs> You're funny. We all know you were just sleeping in, you doofus poopus. Man, I'm so funny. <laughs> sure you are, bud. You want to be funny, friends? Sure, why not? Great, I'll be over here being funny and powerful. You should go now, okay, funny friends? Watch out for the spiders. They started getting worse when all the grown-ups decided to disappear. Okay, well, I'm just, I'm just gonna go now. Have fun with your worm buttholes, I guess. <laughs> okay, well, this has gotten thoroughly strange. Uh, wh what is going on with you? Hello there. Y you seem to be a bit fat and stuck in a well. D did you get really fat because all the parents left? Hey, puke face, get over here and help me. <laughs> How did this happen, man? Isn't it obvious, puke? That's not a very nice name to call me, man. Uh, I have hyper hypoinflammatory disorder. I inflate randomly. <laughs> I don't think that's a real thing. I think that's just called overeating and not exercising. <laughs> oh, well, most people just say you're fat. Well, I've been eating cream cheese tacos all summer, and my mom wasn't here to give me my insulin, so you know, I I inflated. That that seems like a problem. <laughs> Wait a second. I just. <laughs> I just noticed that dude over in the corner there doing those sweet dance moves. I don't know what's going on with him, but he seems awesome. But anyway, back to this guy. It's a disorder, but you wouldn't know, would you? Sleeping in all summer like a lazy butt. D -d -d did you hear that? I swore. Uh, sure, sure you did, buddy. Uh, well, what can I do to help? Give me my insulin. Are, are you deaf, puke farts? You know, insulting people is probably not the best way to get them to do what you want. I, I'm not feeling very inclined to help you right now, but I guess I'll be a good guy. Those little turds, the spiders, they snatched it right out of my pocket and ran up a tree. Okay, well, I, I guess I'll go help you. Have fun, fat guy. Uh, well, what's going on with you, buddy? Watch out for Punky. That's me, Punky. Well, hi, hi Punky. How are you? <laughs> Fatty said I should go and find help, but I'm too busy dancing. You like my dance moves? I mean, they are really cool, man. I'm insane with dance. I can hear the music in my mind. I pretty much just dance all day and all night. Well, that's... That sounds exhausting, but okay, you do you, man. 
Nah, you want to hear the real reason I'm dancing? I I guess why not? What, what's going on man? Well, a sneaky spider came up to me and whispered in my ear. You want to know what she said? Um, okay. He said if I ever stopped dancing, they would pinch my left butt cheek off and feed it to your mom. What? You stupid little puke. Okay. This is weird. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go and pretend that none of these guys are actually talking. They're very strange and oh, I'm guessing that's one of the little spider bros. I hope he doesn't pinch my butt cheek off. That'd be real awkward. Come here, bud. Ooh, get slayed. Why does this look like a butt? Is is this supposed to be the butt they're gonna pinch off? No! Let, let's take the left cheek off. Oh yeah, gonna pinch that butt cheek right off. <laughs> um, so why does it look like there's a little fart cloud every single time that I jump on this? I'm very concerned right now, but whatever. L let's just keep moving on. Hello there, little spider bro. Spider bro. Spider bro. Get slayed by my razor though. Oh, get out of here. Get out. Ow, they hurt me. Luckily, it doesn't look like there's a damage system in this game, so it should be totally fine even though I get hit a lot. Oh, well, there's a thing. Oh, the needle's up there. Pete. Check it out! In the tree! I is that the insulin? Yeah, yeah, go get it, bird! <laughs> How? Okay, I'm, I'm a little bit confused. Why am I chilling out with a flying needle now? Bird, why did you turn into a needle? <laughs> that seems a bit dangerous. Alright, well I guess we should probably- Oh, that is not the way to go! H hello what, what are you doing down here? Hi! Hi. Happy last day of summer, Pete! Um... Why would you say that's happy, though? Oh, are you not excited about school tomorrow? I'm the happiest when I smell pencils and chalk. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm a little bit inclined to think that maybe there's not going to be school tomorrow, given as, you know, all the parents are gone. Maybe maybe there wouldn't exactly be teachers or something, but maybe that's just me thinking that. Uh, but I'm not sure if we'll have school tomorrow, you know. With all the grown-ups missing, yeah, that's what I said. It makes me feel emotionally unstable. That's okay. Where, where are the parents? I don't know. My mom went missing and then my dad left the next night. Lily says she remembered seeing my dad walk straight into the woods. Yeah, I heard she went looking for him. Yeah, she's so brave. She told me I have to do what my big brother would do. Then she ran off into the Shillin Woods, which is... Y you don't remember the Shillin Wood? It used to be our hangout just across the valley behind me. We built a big fort in the trees and everything. Well, how do I get there? <laughs> I just woke up from a coma. <laughs> no, I don't want to be a jerk. Let, let's see how we get there. I'm not sure, but the valley looks just a little too wide to jump across, doesn't it? I certainly figured that out on my own. All right, um, you can do it, Pete. W will do. Looking forward to it, buddy. The slice was here. Oh, that's me. I'm the home slice. I'm the pizza slice. Uh, well, I guess I should probably take the insulin back to that guy. And hopefully he'll give me like some type of reward so that we'll actually be able to make it across that area. I think we're doing pretty well though. I'm certainly enjoying my little adventure. I feel like the music is just so chill. It makes me just so happy to be playing this game. Like, it's really fun. I just, I love music like this. It's just so relaxing. All right, well I guess we should probably help this little tubbo right over here and let's let's give him some insulin. My insulin! Give me my insulin, but McButtface? It's McQuaid. I, I know how it could sound similar to McButtface, but you don't have to be rude, man. Here it is. Pop me. It hurts so bad, but you have to pop me. This is so weird. It's like one of those weird, like, pimple popping videos on YouTube, but I'm, I'm really not into that kind of thing, but what, whatever, man. All right, so here we go in three, two, one, plop. Oh, I, I totally just stabbed that man. Okay, whoa! I guess we're going down the well. <laughs> well, that was certainly unexpected. Thank you for playing. Oh no, I was just starting to get really into the story too and it's it's already over, dang it. <laughs> All right guys, well it looks like that is the end of this quick little teaser for Once Upon a Coma. Personally, I think this game has a lot of potential. I had a lot of fun in this cute little demo, so 
Hopefully you guys did as well. So if you guys want to check out the Kickstarter, I'll leave a link to that in the description down below if you guys want to help out that way. I know it costs money to help on Kickstarter, so if you guys don't have the money, but you still want to help this game actually become a reality, a great way to do that is actually just sharing this video with your friends, family, whoever you think might enjoy it. It's a great way to help support the game just to get it like some publicity, share it with people, and maybe they'll actually be able to help if they enjoy it enough. Honestly, this game is super cool and I think it has a lot of potential so hopefully you guys are interested in helping out as well but anyway if you guys enjoyed the video and you want to see more cool little games like this remember to smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos because I make new videos almost every single day thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully we'll be able to play this in another video bye guys <laughs>